Hey everybody, it's Clonical X999. Welcome to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. Today we are in 1.6.4 and we're going to be taking a look at the Carrot Comprehensive Mod. Uh, now, now this is actually the same world I used for Extra Dimensional. There was a biome right here, so I just figured, so I figured uh, I'd uh, just use the same world. Now, first off, you're probably wondering, where the hell are we? We're actually in a new biome for this, for this mod called Carrot Land. Like, this mod is just all about carrots, which honestly, I really like. I mean, I like carrots. They're delicious. They're good for you. They're good for your eyes. Um, so, yeah. Uh, now, first and foremost, what I want to mention is, as you're going around your world, you're probably going to see these, uh, these uh, crops right here. They're like carrot flowers. And when you break them, you just get a ton of carrots. So that's cool. This is actually the uh, way to the end portal, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat some of these. My favorite thing about eating carrots is just when the little juice splatters out of them. Um, anyways, um, now this mod adds in a brand new dimension, which I will, which I will show you how to get to. So what you're going to need is these blocks. Now, first off, you need to make a carrot block, which you make out of nine carrots. Then you make a double compressed carrot block with ten carrot with nine carrot blocks, and then a triple carrot triple carrot compressed block with a uh, nine double carrot compressed blocks. So you need a lot of carrots in order to get at this dimension. Um, if you want to, um, so it's not it shouldn't be we, but if you don't feel like uh, getting the I feel like getting that. You can actually do this instead. Uh, actually, no, not that. You got carrots, carrot grass flowers. If I head down here into this cave right here, this block right here, um, I don't think there's a definitive. Oh yeah, you use this. These are actually triple carrot compressed blocks. So if you don't, so you just get ten of them. You don't need the corners. You can just find this dimension, find this biome, get ten of them, and you can make this portal. But even if you can't find the dimension, it's still not hard to do with all these carrot flowers around. Especially if you find a village or some sort, but now it's time to head into the dimension and to get in and to light the portal. You're gonna need a uh, carrot and steel, which you make out of an iron ingot and a golden carrot. I kind of like how and I kind of like how um it's uh not like a flint and carrot. I mean like yeah, yeah flint and gold in the ether mod, flint and diamond from the eternal frost, flint and emerald from the emerald mod. Here it's actually the flint that gets replaced, not the iron ingot. So I think that's cool. So. Let's go ahead and light the portal. And uh, not really sure what this does. Durability on this is 64. So let's head on in. And this dimension isn't exactly spectacular. Not the mod isn't really spectacular. I mean, the dimension is basically just a carrot, just carrot land dimension. That's really all there is. But there is a unique block to it, which is this right here, and it is. Carroty cobblestone, which you can't really use for anything. It's really just a building block. But the cool thing about this dimension is, um, oh yeah, and also if you have a really, really S-wordy computer like me, it takes a while to, it like freezes for like 20 seconds while it's trying to load the chunks. Oh, come on, I don't want to cut any footage out of this video. There. Okay, because apparently I can't go exploring. Apparently I can't go exploring. I'll just go into creative. And I also want to show that... Uh, the water... In, when the, the water in the biome turns into this really cool, like, indigo color. So, and I really like that. So anyways, um... Uh, the portal has this really cool particle effects. First, we're going to take a look at the uh, the carrot lamp, and to make that, and to make that, um, you and to make that, you uh, use need a golden carrot, a blaze rod, and a gold block, and you'll get sixteen of those. Thing is, um, these don't really produce light, from what I know. Like, I'll head back into the overworld and set it to night. Well, actually, I can just go into the, I can just go into this cave over here. Going to where it's really dark. 
and I put this down, it doesn't really produce any light. I assume it's supposed to, but it doesn't. And redstone does not work on this, unfortunately, so if you were thinking it, would, it needs redstone to be lit, it does not, unfortunately. So let's head back into back into the carrot land dimension. I'm mean, I'm assuming the dimension is just called carrot land. I mean, does Zan's mini map have like a good name for it? Got some cows over there. All right. Yeah, let's actually check waypoints. Oh, it's just called carrot dim. Oh, carrot dimension. Oh, I'm just gonna call it Carrot Land. So there's the Ritz Little Nims. Now the cool thing about uh, this is that if you're having trouble finding coal and you know charcoal's a bit, uh, charcoal's a bit um, tough for you to get, you can actually um, smelt a carrot in the furnace, and you can actually get um, carrot charcoal, and it basically just works the same as regular charcoal. It's also very shiny. So yeah, it's basically just charcoal. But if you smelt a triple compressed carrot block into the into a furnace, you will get a crystallite a crystallized carrot forged in high pressure and temperature. This gem is super strong. Um, unfortunately, it's not used for this. The carrot cutlass. Um, you just make it out of a golden carrot and a tri two triple compressed carrot blocks. I kind of wish it was made from the carrot uh, from the crystallized carrots, but unfortunately it's not. But you also got the carrot. But, you also got, it's got, you also got the, uh, carrot crystal pickaxe, with, which you make out of two golden carrots and three crystallized carrots, and it is even more powerful than a diamond pickaxe. See, look at this. It mines obsidian decently fast. So, so that's that. Um, and... The cut the carrot cut lasts 14 attack damage, both of them have 2,000 durability. Twice as strong as a diamond sword. Really good weapon. This mod might be even slightly overpowered. Now I'm gonna show you something really expensive, but with a lucky block mod, it shouldn't be a problem. You can make the Diamond Dean? Let me go, let me get that down. The Diamantine Carrot, which is not edible, unfortunately. Need a golden carrot, an ender pearl, and three diamond blocks. So pretty expensive, 27 diamonds in total. But but you use that with four iron ingots, a blaze brought, and a stone button, and you can make the is it in here? No. And you can and you can make the carrot digger. The and this thing mines just mines like so freaking fast. Look at this. And it mines these blocks like really fast as well. If I head down here, this is actually where the carroty cobblestone is. So yeah, and it doesn't seem to have any durability, so you can just put this in your pickaxe spot. Like, can it can it actually mine wood? I'm kinda curious. Let's see, can this thing go through wood as well? It can! So it's like, a pick it, mm, a, it's, so it's like the rupee shick, why do I have night vision? Oh, shifts time in the air for are you, I think this is supposed to, uh, I don't really know what this does, but. Oh, when you use it, it gives you night vision, so you can, so you don't even need torches when you go into the caves. This is a really, really good item, but it's, now I can see why it's so expensive. Um, anyways, next up, we're going to be checking out the Carrot Launcher. And you need, all you need is a stone button, uh, three, four, four iron ingots, gunpowder, flint and steel, and a golden carrot. And you basically, it basically launches, and unfortunately the ammo you need for it is golden carrots. But you're going to see why in just a second. You fire it. It fires really fast. But when you pick it up, you just get some arrows. So, um, 
but its durability is also 10,000, which is cool. Um, and the ammo for it is golden carrots. Now, with this thing, we are going to fight the Wither. And you'll see in a second why you need whole golden carrots in order to in order to use this thing. Right, I forgot. I can't go anywhere in this place without it lagging. So let's uh, summon the Wither. And luckily there's no mobs in here for it to attack. And so um, we don't have to worry about it attacking something else. Eat, eat one of my ammo. Oh, great time to lag, game. Great time to lag. Watch. I bet when it when it's when it, when it comes back, I'm gonna be dead. Huh? Well, this was anticlimactic, wasn't it, guys? I can't move. What the? Game mode one. No. Game mode one. Okay. That was close. Um, get back here before you destroy my... Why did I go flying? Okay, whatever. Um. Anyways, I'm going to fire the arrows at it. Check this out. Look at that. Oh. It's doing a lot of damage to it. This thing can do like 50 damage to an iron golem, if I'm not mistaken. Come down here. Great. Now I'm going to finish it off with the carrot cutlass. Yeah, there you go. Really good way to fight the wither. So yeah, 10,000 durability, but really powerful, but you need golden carrots for it. Now, I'm going to, now, I'm actually going to put this stuff down. Um, yeah, just put everything in here. Now, I'm going to be showing you this thing. This is the, this is the Lamp of Vision. And when I first saw it, I assumed it, I assumed it, um, basically made the, uh, lamps, like, the, the lamps over there, like, start illuminating, but unfortunately it doesn't do that. Instead, what it does when you right-click with it, it basically, if you have any sticks in your inventory, it will turn them into torches without needing the, the, the use of coal or charcoal. Look at this. Look at this. The sticks in there are going, are going down and the torches are going up. I got a total of, hold on, I got a total of three, I don't know, over 256 torches from this. So yeah, another good item, but if you have this thing, you don't even need it. Next is going to be, is going to be something kind of interesting. Um, it is called the survival clock. Uh, now you need a golden carrot, a normal clock. A uh, diamond sword, a, a diamond pickaxe, and an ender pearl, and you can make the survival clock. And basically, you're supposed to use it for something else. But if I go into creative, it will actually turn my to switch switch my game mode to survival with for infinite uses. Um, now, but basically, what you could do is you can smelt it in the furnace, and it will actually you can smelt it in the furnace, and you will get. The adventure clock um, and when you use it it'll put switch your game mode to adventure mode so yeah now I cannot break these tool these things unless I have the right tool for the job so yeah not really sure when you would use this but I'm sure it can be used for like map map mag makers and stuff like that but anyways guys that's pretty much all there is to show for the carrot comprehensive mod hope you guys enjoyed this minecraft mod spotlight if it did be sure to say you liked it and be sure to let me know what mods i should review and what version i should review them in see you guys then goodbye